This will be my first plug-in of this charger. All right. I'm not even sure if it works. <laughs> Let's see. It's not on fire yet. Oh, it says 533 right Ooh, there. That's true. It works. The 533 Edition Toolkit RC charger is the best looking charger on the market, but it also has the brains to go along with those good looks in the form of a custom 533 firmware that makes a number of enhancements to the hobby chargers we've all been using the last several years. You're sending it on a track on the ground or in the air, having a charging system in place that allows you to bring six batteries but fly 40 is a difference in maximizing your focused practice. More importantly though, it allows you to maximize your focus during the race as much as possible by reducing the interaction with the charger itself. The debut of continuous work mode means that when charging and your pack is done, simply remove it and replace it with the new one and it'll automatically begin charging using your last used settings. When you're grinding and you need to manage getting your craft, changing your used battery for a fresh one, replacing props, getting back to the flight line for the next round, and maybe take a sip of Gatorade on that hot summer's day to replenish those electrolytes while your electrons flow into that lipo pack for another two minutes of the most excitement you can have in your life. Any bit of mental or physical elimination of steps can mean you're that much cooler calmer and more collected when the race begins. If it sounds insignificant, consider this. Normally, it takes four to five button presses to select your channel and start charging. So in a full day's flying, you can reduce the number of presses by hundreds. In Min Chan's recent vlog, he mentioned he flew 150 packs in his practice session. This charger would eliminate six to seven hundred button presses during that time. Other nice updates are the dark theme enabled by default and the beeping disabled by default. If you've ever been yelled at by your wife for charging packs for the race during her Zoom call, then this is a must. For me, sometimes that crescendo of beeps is like the dinner bell to a heaping helping of sending it, but she may not appreciate the symphony of chargers beeping as much as you do. Let's yeah. put it in, uh, what is it, charge mode or work mode or something? Yeah, I think it's on by default. Nice. Need okay, here we go. The regular model next to the 533 edition. Lamone's the first one in town to have this very, very fancy charger. And this has a special mode where it will continuously charge without you having to tell it what to it. do. I thought I ordered like two, but, but I'm like, I opened the box and then there's only one. I'm like, what? They didn't send me the second one. But then I'm like, no, I just ordered one. Do you like it? Or is well, I haven't used it yet. I don't like it yet. I don't do it. First plug yeah. in. You gotta yeah. do the continuous. Maybe I'll charge. burn it right away, right? All right. Well, I like it. I like it. I like the LEDs. Or LEDs? Oh, yeah, right there. Ooh. Makes me happy. Oh, that is pretty cool. I always were happy with it. Very happy. And uh, always were happy. Oh, look at it. Power. And they're blue LEDs. So I it looks guess like my laptop. this is how you select, how do I like set the power, like, no, no, it's not flash screen. How do I change anything there? I don't know, you're the first one to use it. Yeah, I've never used it. You have it. to Let's scroll. Figure it out. Oh, you just, just scrolled all right. it. Alright, yeah, I'm just dumb. <laughs> so I need a light like, HV because it's really on spec day to day, 5 amps. I see you trying to go for that 9 amp. <laughs> Yes, Yvonne's yeah, yeah. gonna sell this. It's like $80. And he's something. gonna move it to yeah, this if yeah. it's good. Man, I hope it's good. <laughs> when the battery is ready, <laughs> like, <laughs> you, you unplug and plug an next battery, oh, and then shit. you don't need yeah. to click anything. You don't gotta do oh. shit. Yeah. It like automatically detects that you plug in. Yeah. Well, um, like blinking. I don't know. Like red, orange. What that all means. Yeah, that's I don't know. I think it's like, uh, that's the cell it's charging or something? Actually, I have no idea. It's all about time. This is gonna be the exciting moment. What's the official mode called? I can't remember. Official mode charging. name? Yeah. Uh, continuous charging, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Five, three. Five, three, three mode. This is a quad dock mode. Yeah. Quad dock mode? <laughs> so these are illegal free no spy batteries. <laughs> oh, <laughs> say illegal? Yeah. But I got a bunch of legal ones right here. Okay, here we go. These, nice. Are the, nice. these are the good ones. Yeah. This old fashioned charger does not have continuous mode. Yeah, so I'll have to clean this button. You gotta click all those buttons like a yeah. like a caveman. So unplug this one. And then I plug uh, in this one. Yeah. All right, it's charging. Boom! Look at that. No more pushing nice. those pesky buttons. Yeah. But 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 
but so so here's the thing if you un unplug before it's done charging mm. then when you plug the next battery you, you gotta click this so you gotta wait till it actually turns green yeah gotcha then you gotta then you gotta click these medieval buttons this <laughs> nice okay that's a nice feature though yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, it takes me, it takes me for so long. Look at that. I'm like, select the channel, then click this button, then click start, then confirm it's HV, and then I'm like, my, that's like, my fingers curve. That's like, like four clicks. So many buttons. Like, look at my fingers. I like, just they curve. They soar now. One of the things I've liked the most about the toolkit rc is that like these other chargers they can be supplied power via a large lipo if you had something as well as ac wall outlet power now the hota has a nice feature of having a phone charger on the top but other than that a lot of the features are similar the toolkit rc it's much slimmer than the other ones in the mix so being slimmer and smaller means that it will fit in your flight bag a lot easier now as far as how much power these things output the hota and the toolkit rc both can output 15 amps while this isdt mark 2 d2 only puts out 12 amps these two are very similarly as good but this having the new continuous mode puts the edge over there. Now let's compare it to the original version. You can see the dark mode versus the light mode right here. If you only knew the power of the dark side. Can you tell which one's selected? Whereas on this dark mode, it's much easier to see that channel one is selected. Now the last step that I'm gonna do is I'm expecting to see a lot of these at all the races I attend very, very soon. So in order to differentiate mine, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Johnny Five sticker right here. And there we go. Now there's no mistaking this one for all the other dozens that we're expecting to see very soon. Now what's the perfect companion to your new 533 charger? That is the MC8 battery checker by toolkit rc you know i've seen it happen time and time again where people get up to the race line take off because of all of the pressure going on they put the wrong battery on there and accidentally put one that is spent so i can see that this is at storage voltage if this had just been flown and i went to go try to fly and race on this when money's on the line you can't afford for this to happen so get one of these and one of these and you'll be ready for those big competitions by removing those stress levels from you. Dang, look at this fancy shit. This will be my first plug-in of this charger. All right. I'm not even sure if it works. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so like, like any kind of like flight controller ESC. Like a normal flight. Now you got that down, the DJI view. From yeah, yeah. Down. Oh, like what the, the heck? The camera case is still inside, but this one's too knocked off. off the image sensor. Like the image sensor came off. Oh, like, yours is still attached, though. Uh, yeah, the camera is still there, I don't know. Because, well, because they think it's just. video? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's unplugged, so it also. The, oh. bat dam the, the battery is damaged. Like, you can see the pieces of tree, like, everywhere here. Oh, uh, yeah, the bark. What did you do to the tree? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see the sensors off. You played like, chicken with it. The well, the sensor is just glued on this camera, so it makes sense. Uh, I wonder if it's still good. Maybe, yeah. I hit I hit the gate timing system. Fucking obliterated my image sensor on my HD yeah. camera. Oh, I opened yeah, the camera and it was done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alright. Well, I didn't need that anyway. Fuck it. <laughs>